Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, dear students around the world. Welcome to your new English YouTube channel and classes. English course level 1, A1, lesson 52. In today's lesson, we are going to practice our English, especially written English. By the end of this mini lesson 52, you will have focused on known, learned, and practiced the following objective. Let's brush up on your English grammar of the previous lessons. It means let's see your level of English grammar. So let's see your grammar. Is it correct or incorrect? Let's see. Let's practice English too. Complete these sentences with the missing words. In every sentence, we have five sentences. In every sentence, there is one missing word. And the missing word is a pronoun from the family of pronouns. So, especially possessive adjectives. So, sentence number one, I am Sarah and this is a husband. Number two, he's Donald, and this is mother. Your name is Lubna, and this is English class. We're from Spain, and this is house. They're doctors, and this is hospital. So when you start this lesson, for example, when you are here, stop the video. Why? Because if you don't stop the video, it will go to question number two. So stop the video here. When you finish all these questions, then you can go to the next slide. I hope you understood my point. So stop the video here, finish five sentences, the answers, write all the sentences to practice your English. So you need to write a lot to improve your writing skills and handwriting as well. So when you finish, you can go to the next slide. Let's go to the next slide. Complete the questions and then answer them in present simple. Complete the questions. So you, first you need to complete the questions and then answer them in the present simple or in present simple. Complete the question and answer it in present simple. Number one, we have word or one word. You go to school on foot. So you write the word and then you answer it. So, and the answer should be short answer. Short answer, three words. Let's go to the next slide. So you don't go to the next slide. So you stop the video here. In every slide, you need to stop the video. And when you finish, you can go to the next slide. Let's go to the next to the next slide. The same question. Complete the question and answer it in present simple. She play computer games. Short answer. Let's go to question number three. Complete the question and answer it in present simple. The women like football. So women is plural. Huh? The women. The short answer. Number four. Complete the question and answer it in present simple. The cats like to eat fish. Short answer. Complete these sentences with the missing verbs in present simple. Number one, Horia, three languages. So which verb we put with languages? It's very easy. Number two, Harry to the gym almost every day. So almost means nearly, nearly every day. It's not every day, but six days a week, not seven days, just six days. So which verb can we put there? Zineb in a bank. 
So what does she do in a bank? Number four. Peter TV every evening. So what does Peter do with TV every evening? Number five. Sophia, you very well. So write one correct verb. And pay attention because you are doing this exercise in present simple. So when you are finished, if you didn't finish, you can stop here, the video, until you finish the five sentences, then you can go to the next slide. Let's go to the next slide. Complete the question and answer it in present simple. You speak English. Short answer. So question number six. So as I told you, you, if you don't finish, you need to stop the video in every slide. Question number six, complete the question and answer it in present simple. Read novels. Novels is long stories. The short answer. Complete the question and answer it in present simple. The children go to school on Saturdays. The short answer. So you complete first the question, then you write the short answer. Number eight. Lubna like dogs. What is the short answer? So this is the question, then the short answer. It means you answer the question. Number nine. They play hockey. Hockey is a, a sort of sport or a type of sport or a kind of sport. Short answer. Number 10. Rodrigo like pets. Pets are the animals that live with people. For example, dog, cat, fish, birds. Short answer. Number 11. Oh no. <clears throat> Put these sentences in the negative form. In present simple, then give a positive answer. I repeat, put put these sentences in the negative form in present simple and then give a positive answer. Example, so we have Rafa, we have space, live in Sweden. So this is the answer. Rafa, this is the negative form, huh? Rafa doesn't live in Sweden. And the positive answer, he lives in France. So you are going to do the same. So first you put the negative form, then you answer in positive form. I hope you understood the activity. Let's go to the next slide. So the same question, put this sentence in the negative form in present simple and then give a positive answer. So the first one, number three, I play tennis. So what is the negative of this sentence? Then you write the positive. Let's go to question number four. The same question. Put this sentence in the negative form, in present simple, and then give a positive answer. She work in a hospital so what is the negative of this sentence then you write a positive sentence as i told you for me i just move quickly but you you don't move quickly you need to stop the video in every slide until you finish then you go to the next slide let's go to question number three the same question put this sentence in the negative form in present simple and then give a positive answer martin Listen to the news on the radio. Give the negative, then positive. Let's go to number five. We speak English. So what is the negative of this sentence? And what is the positive? So another sentence. Complete these sentences with the missing adjective. Here we can have many possible answers. Let's see the first one. Hans is a man. Hans has three dogs. So try to put an adjective with dogs. So I'll give you an example, but don't write it. So Hans has three small dogs. So write another adjective. Sarah is a 
adjective student so you write a stu uh, an adjective Sarah is a student number three Andrew has a car so an adjective number four Nina lives in a adjective a house number five Mary cooks adjective meals put this sentence in the negative form in present simple and then in a positive uh, give a positive answer they drink tea in the morning so what is the negative of this sentence and the positive answer another answer let's go to question number seven so put this sentence in the negative form in present simple and then give a positive answer my cat eat meat negative and positive let's go to the next slide put this sentence in the negative form in present simple and then give a positive answer mary drink milk what is the negative of this sentence and what is the positive let's go to the next slide number nine the same question i understand italian so what is the negative and then the positive let's go to the next slide the same question her laptop work negative what is the negative of this sentence and the positive put this sentence in negative form in present simple and then give, give a positive answer harry respect old people negative then positive Catherine study for her exams so what is the negative of this sentence and then positive this is the last group of questions ask questions without repeating the underlined words in the question let's see for sentence number one I speak four languages so when you write the question don't write the word for in your question because if you write it in the question it's not correct so the question is a response or an answer to the sentence so i speak four languages so what is the question for when we want to ask about a number so we studied this in the previous lessons so try to revise the previous lessons so what word are we going to use are we going to use what are we going to use how are we going to use uh, when are we going to use why are we going to use how much how many so these are the type of questions wh words that we studied in the previous lessons so the first question so the first answer i speak four languages what's the add question to this answer let's go to number two lisa lives in london so if when in your question don't write london like if you write london in the question it's not correct because they say ask question without repeating so don't repeat the underlined words so here don't repeat for and don't repeat london in the question so London is a place so which word we ask for a place but pay attention to the question because it's not just wh words it's the auxiliary verb so are we going what are we going to use so pay attention to this number three Bob goes to work at 7 30 so don't write say at 7 30 in the question if you write it in the question it's not correct okay so here we have time so which question which wh words we use to ask about time number four this laptop costs 1300 euros so we have price so which wh word we use for prices and the last one they usually watch tv in the evening so here we have usually so this is the lesson of adverbs of frequency go to the lesson of adverbs of frequency 
in our channel to see how can we ask question when we have an adverb of frequency. I wish you good luck with this activities and practice. So try to stop the video at every slide until you finish, then you go to the next slide. The answers to these questions, I'll give them to you in the coming video. Until then, see you soon on our two YouTube channels, House School Hassan HSH, English with Arabic Translation, and House College Hassan HCH, Just English, in Lesson 53. F thanks for watching the video don't forget to hit like for the video if you like the video or the content of the video subscribe to our channel if you haven't subscribed yet and activate the bell to get new videos from us and please do us a favor by sharing this video with your family friends and the people you know thank you so much best of luck goodbye